Hello, guys. My name is Dynis, and I'm co-founder of company Air Rones. We build heavy lift drones for industrial cleaning and firefighting. We've been working on our technology for three and a half years. During our work, we have understood one thing. The battery technology is not here yet. We need to wait a little. All of these sport drones, taxi drones, delivery drones are going to be businesses after several years. However, we understand, understood something else. There are plenty of applications for heavy lift drones, tetra te heavy lift drones, where the electricity and water comes from the ground. There are plenty of applications to do with these kind of drones. And we built one. When I look at these pictures, I would like to say it's wrong. It's not the right way to do the job. It's just not safe. We will change the industry of people in ropes, services done by helicopters and cranes. Wind industry is one of the main sources of green energy in our world. But wind industry is losing up to 20% of their efficiency and revenue because of the ice and dirt on the blades. Erosion costs a lot of money in maintenance and also is cause of uh, drop down of the, main uh, of the efficiency. Right now, cleaning, de-icing, ice phobic coating apply is difficult and not safe task for them. And it costs a lot of money. This is our drone in action. We can do the job 20 times faster. We can do the job safe. We can do the job five times cheaper and still have 70% of profit margin. It's so much better. The drone is powerful. It can lift 200 kilos. Electricity and the water comes from the ground. So we can fly, clean, de-ice, apply coatings endlessly. We have started to clean for our customers last month. This is how we will apply ice phobic coatings on leading edge of the turbine of the blades. These ice phobic coatings prevents not only from the ice building up on the uh, leading edge of the blade during the winter season, but they are also preventing erosion of the blades. We will start to do these services in two weeks. These coatings need to be reapplied every year. We are the only right technology to do the job. We can clean also buildings, oil, gas, solar, and other industries. And there is more. We can do firefighting. Imagine that the highest ladders there are can, up, can get up to 70 meters, only 70 meters. And they need 20 minutes to deploy them. We can get up to 300 meters in less than one minute. Imagine the firefighting in wildfires, which we ha have all heard in this summer. How the firefighters are pulling the hose up the hill to extinguish, ex extinguish the fire. It's not safe. It's not the, the right way to do the job. This is the right way to do the job. That's the future of firefighting. However, we're focused on our cleaning service business now, which is multi-billion dollar business for us. By developing new sets of robotic arms in front of the drone, we will be able to do more services. Like, for example, for wind industry, repair signal stripes, repair small cracks on the blades, and do other services. It's a huge market. It's a huge business. We will have a huge revenue from each turbine. Ten months ago, we published the first video of how we are de-icing the wind turbine. Now we have all of the world's largest wind turbine companies willing to do business with us. About the founders, we are all experienced in building hardware products. We are all experienced in building businesses. Me and Yanis, we made our first startup when we were 18. It was, uh, and we scaled it uh, to more than 10 countries. It was also a hardware as a service business. I'm in the sales for 18 years already, even more. And it's crazy what's happening within, uh, with air owns. Imagine that every day we receive emails like these from our potential customers, from our partners, asking for our services, asking for cooperation. During these years, we have managed to build also our brand. Our videos have been published all over the world, all, all over the media. Our customers start to recognize us as heavily drawn company. For three and a half years, we have built our product. Now, we're raising money to go to the market. We have started to clean our first customers. 
and it's successful. We are raising the money, the money to capture the market, to go to the market faster. Thank you. Can I start? Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. This uh, really looks exciting and super important. Uh, the question I wanted to ask, wh what's the core IP and how, how do you defend on this? Uh, you know, let's say you start, you know, getting success, you know, others could replicate quickly, follow. Okay. We have four patents on our technology. We will apply for four patents more. And, uh, and, and uh, so we feel quite protected. It's not an easy task to build what we built. It took three and a half years to build this, this kind of solutions. There are heavily drone companies in the world, but all of them are working for taxi drones. Their main goal of the business is completely different. We're the first company which is building heavily drones for industrial purposes. The shape of the drone, the redundancies of the drone, and so on, it's not, uh, you can't just scale small drone to the size what we have and the power what we, ha we have. So yeah, we feel quite protect protected. Uh, can you tell us something uh, that how do you are you operating the drones also so you are selling the service directly into the end customers or what's your, what's the business model and then then another one that how about the weather conditions that can you tell something that when can you operate so uh, first of all we will scale through franchising we are building service model business we will we will clean wind turbines clean the ice supply coatings for the wind turbines that's the first thing we will scale through the franchising we have already more than 200 companies which are willing to be our franchisees all over the world third of all it's easy to fly this drone the automation level which we have achieved and which we will achieve wind turbines are the same all over the world whether it's china india europe or us or us the automation can be built we will get to the level when you push start button and it goes up and does the job automatically. What, and what is your go to market? You talked about people willing to, uh, to use this product. What's your go to market? What's your pricing? How competitive are you with, with people doing it traditional ways? Uh, there is minimal request of our service is $30,000 or, or euros, for example. Uh, each job is 2,000 uh, euros. For example, one cleaning, 2,000. One uh, coating applied, 2,000. If you need to apply coatings, you need to clean and apply coatings. So it's $4,000 uh, euros per, uh, per each uh, turbine. And so is it sort of a razor, razor blades model where the drone is just a delivery system and you're really selling the cleanings? Or how does that work? Uh, yeah, we are selling the services. And we, the profit margin is huge. As I said, it's approximately 70%. So we have the profit margin to split before, between us and our uh, representatives, our, uh, our franchisees. And so you're, you're raising capital right now. How much are you raising? One million. Just? Okay. Uh, euros. One million euros, euros. just. Yes. Um, how far will that take you? Uh, we have secured two million uh, to, to get into the Scandinavian market. We are building the first franchise for Scandinavia. Uh, and uh, with uh, this extra money, we will do a little bit more in automation, uh, development in automation. And also, we want to uh, go to the German and English market. So concretely, where will you be in 18 months from now? Um, I would like to have at least five fr franchisees all over the world, like partners for franchisees. And I would like to have at least 100 drones in the, uh, in the sky cleaning the wind turbines all the time. So now you've been talking about uh, the icing and the firefighting verticals. What are the other areas that are excited about entering further down the road? I think that we need to keep our focus uh, and uh, not to dream too much. There are a lot of applications to do with, the, with these kind of drones. Uh, for me, solely, I would love to build a drone for rescue. I would love to uh, build more products. But we do understand that it's not possible, uh, not at, at least not now. We're focused, heavily focused now on cleaning. And firefighting is just like, that was actually the first thing which we, were, uh, we, which we were developing. And then we switched to the cleaning because we understood that it's a hardware as a service. We can work on our technology. We can fine tune our technology much better there than in, fi uh, in firefighting. And then we will move to the firefighting. So that was our strategy. Do, do we have time for one more? Yeah. Yes. Who are your competitors? 
I wouldn't call people in ropes, I wouldn't call them as the competitors. We just want to take them off the blades down to the ground uh, and do the job faster. Uh, and and uh, there are no other heavily drawn companies which are doing nearly the same as we are doing. There are no heavily drawn companies which are tethered. It's, it's actually a huge development to make a tethered solution for this kind of drone. It's, 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 it's consuming up to 70 kilowatts when it's flying. So um, if we're talking about the competitiveness, we are disrupting an industry. Uh, we, are not, we are not trying to compete with one. So you, you talked about the development needed to do this drone. How much money has been spent so far in investment? And this goes a little bit to your question, I think, about the million dollars going forward. That seems like a small amount of capital for a, especially a hardware company. I mean, I would at least add one zero to that typically in this stage. Um, so, so I'd love to know how much investment's gone in to date. And then maybe a secondary question of why the franchise model and how did you arrive at that? But first, how much investment has this taken on so far? And, and maybe the bomb cost of this thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what is your best guess how much we, we've spent to build one? Uh, we've spent approximately one million. Only one million to, to build what we have built. Uh, if, if you saw the slide about the experience of the guys who are actually behind the project, uh, we have, I don't know, one of the most brilliant teams uh, I could ever have. Uh, we are the most popular startup in Latvia, so it's quite easy for us to, to attract talent. And uh, why to franchise model? We just understood that it's not going to be possible to, take, uh, to earn all the world's money. It's, it's uh, to scale faster, to go to the market faster, and to capture market faster, it, we will need franchise partners. For example... Sorry, those... uh, that's all for now. Yeah, OK. We're out of time. Thank you. Thank you, Danis and Irons. Uh, yeah.